Hi guys! Hey! Welcome back to our channel. In today's video we thought we would do a hotel review from the latest Disney Resort Hotel we stayed in, yep. which is Hotel Santa Fe in Disneyland Paris. Cool, so yeah. let's get started. Let's go! Right, so the first thing we're going to talk about is the actual location of the hotel. So Santa Fe is um, based in on Disney property in Paris. Uh, if you've seen other trips, we've actually driven there. It's really simple to get to if I'm honest, you just go straight up the ferry and then it's just straight there. Really easy trip. However, the location of the actual hotel on property, so it's about 15 minutes, 17 minutes? I don't think it's quite 20, is it? You mean to walk? Yeah, 20 minutes. Yeah, about 20 minutes because you have to walk through the village and stuff, so. It depends, but I mean, I'm quite a fast walker where Charlotte likes to walk on her hands backwards. So it takes a little bit longer for her. We always have arguments how long it takes to walk places because she's got a ridiculous view of things. I like don't, that. but okay. <laughs> It's actually not that far, it's about 20 minutes, depending on if you've got kids and prams, it could take a bit longer. But it's not that far at all. Um, it is, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty good walk down by the river, um, and then you get to the, you go past a few other hotels, so you're opposite the Cheyenne. You'll go past uh, things like um, Wilderness Lodge, not Wilderness Lodge, Sequoia Lodge and you go past New York, New York, and then you end up at the Disney Village. So yeah, as I said, you kind of come to the Disney Village. So you're at 20 minutes away from Disney Village, and then once you're there, you're pretty much at the parks. Um, so it's not a very far walk at all. It's, it's not undercover. So if it is like raining and stuff, or like bad weather, you're gonna struggle to actually not get wet. So you're gonna have to make sure you take raincoats and stuff like that. So the Hotel Santa Fe Resort is a value resort. So it's one of the cheaper ones that you can stay in. Um, at Disneyland Paris. So the Hotel Santa Fe is on the same level as Hotel Cheyenne, which we've stayed at before as well. Um, so it's a good place if you're trying to go to Disneyland Paris on a budget. Um, so we've actually tried both of the value resorts now. So the next time we go, we don't really want to stay in the hotel they've already stayed in before. So hopefully Disneyland. we'll go. Yeah, hopefully, well, maybe not Disneyland. I mean, one day. Um, but we'll try to go to one of the kind of more moderate ones. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice hotel. The theming is Cars themed. Um, I think we said in the vlog, I'm not actually sure what it was before Cars existed. I think existed. it was like Wild West. No, That's Wild West is Cheyenne. Cheyenne. It might have just been like Car maybe cars, just cars and driving. Oh no, um, cars. Route 66. It would have just been Route 66 or like American kind of, yeah, all that kind of stuff. I think, uh, but it's been Cars for years. Yeah, but it's really good theming. Like you, you would have seen in the vlogs if you watched our vlogs. And um, to get in between like the different hotel blocks, all the roads are done out like actual roads. All the paths are done out like actual roads. Um, and there was like what are the things? There was like signposts and stuff that looked like ones you'd find. Yeah, so like 66. yeah, like American signposts. And so like on the top of the buildings, when you walk around, there's like, I don't really know how to explain it, but they have like a small like silhouette thing at the top of the buildings. And it was like um, Lightning McQueen and Mater and like desert-y things. Yeah, um, cactuses and stuff like that. Yeah, so if you're going with like a little boy or someone that just loves cars, then I probably would recommend staying there because the theming is really cool. Um, so we went with my nephew and he, he liked all the theming, didn't he? So, yeah, like he thought the, the lampshades are like, uh, traffic cones and he thought they were mental like they were he was he thought they were crazy cool so like so yeah the room that we actually stayed in was a double room so i had two double beds and it was it was a fairly good size uh it had you know your generic kind of weird cupboard that hotels have when there's no doors um it's just a bar yeah, really like, like a little that. bench underneath yeah, I don't know, I think this is a generic thing they do. It has one of them, then it had like drawers, TV. Um, it was all in French, obviously, we're in France. Um, but the bathroom was your generic bathroom. However, the bathroom was pretty themed, I thought. Mm. Pretty well themed, so it had like, um, had like bits on the light, on the um, on the mirror that were like cars themed. And then it had like, um, had like tiles going around the outside of the bath and they were like cars themed. And, 
uh, even like the, the soaps and stuff, they're not just like the normal ones with the Mickey heads, they were like um, radiator springs and they had like checkered flags, there's checkered flags everywhere in the only four of the rooms. Um, it's like the, the beds as well, so they had like uh, strips along them didn't they, like the uh, what they call runners, mm -hmm. bed runners? Yeah. Yeah, so they're like bed runners and stuff and they had like um, Lightning McQueen, Mater, they had, um, what's his name? All the car, Dust. Doc. Doc. They had Doc, stuff like that. Um, similar to the Cheyenne with the Toy Story stuff, they had on our walls, they had pictures of different cars and stuff like that, like from the film, not just random cars. Um, I thought it was pretty good, in, in, in all fairness. Um, the, even the um, the carpets were themed, weren't they? They yeah, were so like roads. So the, the carpets inside the hotel room between the rooms were like, I can't, I think it was like a road, wasn't it? Yeah. And the lights in there, they were little traffic cones as well, yeah, along the sides. Yeah. To be fair, it's extremely well themed, like, really well themed. I thought it was like, it wasn't necessarily like loads of Disney stuff around the, around the hotels, but because you knew it was themed in cars, it then seemed like it was in cars. Mm. So they had like traffic lights and stuff, and they were like flashing on and off, and uh, the entryway is amazing. It's like a proper big drive-in theatre kind of style, isn't it? So there's a massive screen with cars playing um, and it's got a big kind of over-cover area. It was lovely. It's really quite a nice hotel. Yeah, like big fair. bright lights, says Hotel Santa Fe. Yeah, and it looks like it's all it like neon at lights. Yeah, it looks awesome. So if you actually stay in there and you've got sort of five minutes, walk out of the lobby as if you're going to leave the hotel out of the main exit entrance area and then turn around and look back. Because you probably won't see that if you come in through the Magical Express and stuff like that. Mm. Especially if you're not looking. Or if you come in via, um, especially if you come in through Eurostar, you'll probably never see it. Because Eurostar drops you off in the ho in the park area. So then you'll walk to the hotel and you'll be in the back entrance. You'll never see the front. So mm. definitely do that because it's, it's going to take you a couple seconds and it's pretty cool. And it's a good pitch drop as well. So. So when you go into the actual lobby, they've got, I think, um, Santa Fe had this as well, but they had like a little raised stage platform where they did like meet and greets and stuff. And I'm pretty sure when we arrived, I don't know if it was like kind of a goofy or Pluto, it's or Pluto. someone was in the lobby and so you could meet a character at your hotel, which is pretty cool. Um, and then obviously there's like the check-in. And then when you go down the main corridor, there was a gift shop, um, which, you know, just a generic gift shop. It was of decent size though. Um, they obviously had like, you know, they had, um, they had Halloween Christmas decorations in there, didn't they? Christmas decorations and plushies, they had. Um, they had some Halloween stuff because it was Halloween when we were there. Yeah. Just generic stuff, sweets, gift cards, you know, they had like postcards, sorry. They had all just generic stuff. Yeah, but no, it was nice to have the gift shop in there because you could have a little wander around before you even hit the parks. And no, I didn't buy my ears from there, but they have ears, like mini ears and stuff that you could get from there, which was cool. Um, they also had a Starbucks um, in the hotel, which I think all of the Disneyland Paris's must have a Starbucks because. Um, Cheyenne did as well, that's just the value ones, but I had a Starbucks in there, um, which was nice. And also they have their La Cantina. La Cantina, I think it's La called Cantina. La Cantina. Which um, I believe they serve breakfast, lunch and dinner. Um, we only ever had breakfast there. That was um, nice though. Yeah, no, it was really nice. Um, obviously for lunch and dinner we were in the park, so we never actually had lunch or dinner there. Um, and when we went to Disneyland Paris in 2017, we also had breakfast at La Cantina and we didn't like it at all in 2017. It was literally just like, well it was um, continental, so it was like pastries and cold meats and that was it. We were just kind of like, oh, it's a bit... Yeah, we were a little bit let down. A little bit disappointed, but we were like, well fair enough, you're in France, that's, that's, like, what they that's have. just what they have, so we didn't really think anything of it. And then we went this year, we so nearly didn't eat there, but I was like, oh well, no, we'll, we'll just give it another go. It's like, it's in our hotel. And then they'd completely changed it. Yeah, so it's more, it, it. they had a lot more stuff. Obviously the continental stuff was still there, so there was like croissants, pan or chocolates. Cold meats, cheeses. Cold meats and cheeses and, and cereal and yogurts and fruit. But then they also had like bacon, they had um, scrambled, eggs. scrambled eggs, they had baked beans, they had these little like flat, Potato, potato fried slices or something they yeah. were actually quite nice um, they had because we went at halloween they had halloween stuff they had like little chocolate loaves of little pumpkins in the middle and they had a few other halloweeny bits didn't they and like little pots of nutella and little pots of golden syrup and they just had so much more there um and i'm really glad we went because the breakfast was actually really really good yeah i was really impressed and actually um the, apart from the fact the food quality was all right you know 
um, their bacon. They had, yeah, oh. their bacon was really good, really crispy bacon. And it was like they had a coffee machine, which did like cappuccinos and lattes, and there was like juices and stuff like that. Um, but the one thing that I did notice was the theming was actually pretty good as well. So they yeah. had like, you kind of went around, it was, you know, it was just nice. But then they had this huge truck, like a full size truck. And on the back of it was just loads of breads and yeah. stuff. It was, it was really good. Um, I'll tell you what I did have though. If just, you know, if you like, want to try it. Get yourself a load of scrambled eggs. And they do like these, go over to the cheese section and just get yourself a few big chunks of slices of cheese, put it on top and then just eat them together. Oh, it was... I'm thinking about it right now and I want some. I don't, I've just had a big lunch and I'm really full. But yeah, it was really good for breakfast and I feel like when you're in Disney, you need a good big breakfast to see you through the day and that definitely did that for us. So I think, yeah, I think it's changed my mind. If we went again, I'd be happy to pay, actually, rather than using credits, I'd happily pay for it. Um, whereas the last time we'd gone, I wouldn't have been okay with paying for it. Yeah, so when we went to Hotel Cheyenne in 2017, the chuck wagon was closed for refurbishment, so there's actually nowhere to eat. So they said, you know, the closest place to get breakfast is across the river at Santa Fe. Which is Santa literally Fe. just across the river. Yeah, it's like just as quick to get to the lobby of the hotel you're staying in because they're just so close together. Um, and they said, yeah, you can you can go there, but we had to pay like an extra, I think it was in like six yeah. euros or something. Yeah, but there was four of us. So. Yeah, but we had to pay a little bit extra and the food was really disappointing, so we were just generally disappointed. Um, but this time around, good food, didn't have to pay any extra, no. and the selection was was more than we went when we went before. So, yeah, if you're staying in Santa Fe, I would 100% recommend. And they start serving there. from really early. Yeah, I'm pretty sure breakfast started from like half six or maybe. It might have been half six, I think. About then, um, but yeah, it was really good, so we definitely recommend it. Yeah, so all in all, we really liked Santa Fe. We would, I would stay there again. Um, if I had to rank it between Cheyenne, I actually preferred Hotel Cheyenne to Santa Fe. I I'm not really sure why, because they're basically the same, but I just felt like Cheyenne was more... It wasn't as busy, but then again, we did no. go at this time of year, so... Yeah, I, I would second that, and I think when I mean, when I say it doesn't feel so busy, it's like, when we come out of our hotel room in Cheyenne, there was a good 20, 30 metres of open space, because mm -hmm. it's supposed to be like wagons and stuff, whereas in... Santa, Santa Fe, it literally was busy. You come out of your room and it's, it's like another, another building, another building rocks, very... people, and it wasn't the people, it was like rocks and stuff like traffic lights, and it was just like there was always stuff to look at. Whereas I felt like Santa Fe was a lot more laid back. Like Not Cheyenne. Santa Fe, Cheyenne, sorry, was a lot more laid back. Um, but they're identical different distances, they're identical hotels realistically, the rooms are, yeah, the the rooms are yeah. exactly the same. One's Toy Story, one's Cars, it's you know, it's exactly the same, but. But I think for the price, if we went back on a, and we were looking at staying in a value, I think I'd pick Cheyenne. But we've, been, we've done both of them, so it doesn't make any difference now. Yeah, no, that was really nice. If, if you want to see for yourself what it looked like, you can go back to our 2019 or our 2017 when we stayed in Cheyenne, so you can kind of see for yourself. Um, but yeah, no, it's definitely worth the stay, and I would recommend both. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for watching. Um, we'd love to hear how your experiences went if you stayed at either Cheyenne or Santa Fe so leave in the comments below if you enjoyed it or if you didn't like it as much. Yeah. Also let us know because we, although we don't have any plans currently to go back to Paris, um, when I say we don't have plans, we want to go back to Paris, we just haven't sat down and said let's go back to Paris. Yeah. But we do want to go back and we won't stay in either of those two because as long as we're able to afford it we'd like to go further in and do more, we'd like to try and stay at different places and stuff like that. Um, so where else would you recommend staying? So they've got what? They've got Daily Crockett, they've got New York, New York, which is obviously now that Marvel Hotel, looks awesome. Disneyland Hotel, which would also be amazing. Oh my goodness. 100% mm, But yeah, there's so many different hotels and which one do you recommend and why? Would definitely help us, I think. Yeah, definitely. So yeah. Thanks for watching. See you next week, guys. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.